it is Reviews Day Tuesday, and this week it is another one of my mouse reviews, a bunch of random things videos. I haven't done one of these in a while. The first thing I am going to review is the film Bridge and Tunnel. It's an indie film, I heard of it through Mary Kate Wiles. She acts in the film and she is perhaps best known for her internet based roles, for instance, in Lizzie Bennet Diaries, I Ship It, Kissing in the Rain, Squaresville, School of Thrones, lots of excellent things. But she mentioned on social media that the film was going to be freely available for a couple of weeks and I thought, I'm interested in this film, I'm gonna watch it. And I did, and I'm very glad that I did. It follows eight friends across a year, we join them at various points throughout the year. It's set in New York, they're all in their 20s, some of the characters have known each other for all or a lot of their lives, and some of the characters are new to the group. I found a lot of the characters very interesting. The acting was great, the film had a good feel to it, I liked the pacing. It was a little disjointed, we would sometimes leave the characters for months at a time, and a voiceover would say what had been going on in the intervening period, which was fine, it just meant that the film never really flowed, or, you know, built. But yeah, I enjoyed the film, it was definitely worth the hour and a half spent watching it. But I think that Mary Kate Wilde should have been in it more. Not just because I'm a fan, and I thought that she was very good in the film, but also because her character is very interesting and likeable. Yeah, I'll give it 3.9. If you can catch it, I recommend it. The second thing I'm going to review today is Good Omens, the BBC radio adaptation of the Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman book, which was on over Christmas. I can't remember if it was in six episodes or eight, but the first episode was an hour long, and the ones after that were half an hour long. I thought it was perfectly cast. The cast included Peter Serafinowicz, Mark Heap, Charlotte Ritchie, Colin Morgan. I thought the story worked really well on the radio, it really suited the format. And even though there were lots of storylines going on at once, I never found that confusing. Sometimes with the radio I have trouble telling when the scenes change, but that was never a problem with this show. Also the sound design was fantastic when listening to it through headphones or with my laptop speakers, which were amazing. It sounded so good and I really recommend listening to it in that way. It is now my new favourite radio drama, it has overtaken Neverwhere. And I very rarely buy the CD to listen to the drama again, but I'm going to in this case. Yeah, I'll give it a four 5 out of 5. Finally today I am going to review the one-off drama Cyberbilly. This was an hour-long real-time drama, it was on a couple of weeks ago, and it starred Maisie Williams. The story takes place entirely in her character's room whilst she is on her computer, and she is targeted by a cyberbully. I don't really want to go into any more detail with the plot, because there's quite a lot of twists. I was very impressed with this drama. It does so well at building suspense and keeping interest when pretty much the entirety of the hour you're just watching her and her computer screen. It feels very realistic and relevant and I would encourage anybody who spends time on the internet to watch it. It's still available on 4OD and I will link to it below. Also, best ever Maisie Williams performance. Her character is so interesting and so believable and she really carries us through the drama. Excellent, I'll give it 4.6 out of 5. That's it for today, do let me know what you think about these things if you have seen them or listened to them. I hope you have a good day and see you tomorrow.